As many of you know by now, my husband and I have three children. We have two girls, 13, almost 14, 12, and then our son, who's the baby of the family, that is 10. So let's unpack this question. Do we trust our kids to be home alone with each other, or do we rely on his dad to babysit, seeing as though his dad lives with us? And the short answer to this is our children are always, whether they are home or out doing activities or over at friends' houses or whatever, always myself my husband and or my father-in-law are close by now call me helicopter parent whatever you want this is what we have decided is best for our family you guys are free to do as you please with your children that you have been tasked with raising this works for us because it is something that we all three as the adults of the family feel very strongly about so we make it happen this way but before I get people thinking that I'm being all up in their business and stuff, I don't mean that I'm just always within arm's reach of my children. They are free to go off into other spaces and hang out with their friends, go do their activities, all the things that they want to do. But myself, my husband, or their grandfather are always around and available as an adult presence when needed. So let's unpack the whys of this. To start with, when it comes to age, maturity level, independence level, yes, all three of my kids by society standards could manage to stay home by themselves without an adult present and manage everything just fine, no problem. They feed themselves independently, they handle the tasks that need to be handled, they know how to do the basic runnings of life and even the basic emergency response type of things. But personally, there are a few reasons why we have made the decision that there will always be an adult presence out of one of the three of us for our children. One, yes, my oldest is almost 14 years old. She is more than capable and competent to be able to handle everything, hold down the fort, manage her siblings in our absence. But 13, almost 14 is still a kid, not a stand-in parent. It's not her responsibility simply because she was born first out of all of her siblings to step in when myself and my husband are gone. She's still a kid. I don't want to put that on her that she has to now parent and be responsible for her younger siblings. On top of that, Nine times out of ten, you're going to leave your house, you could be gone for hours, and you come back, and nothing bad has happened. Kids followed the rules, they didn't fight, they've done all that they were supposed to do, there were no emergencies or anything like that, we're good to go, no big deal. And I do trust my kids to follow the rules and not get into big fights or have any type of calamity fall upon them of their own doing. But I don't trust the world to hold itself to those same standards with my children that are without an adult presence. None of my kids are old enough to have a driver's license. They don't have a vehicle. It's not like we live in an HOA neighborhood where there's literally a neighbor 20 feet across the driveway whenever they walk out the front door that they could run across and grab an adult if need be. And yes, like I've said, nine times out of 10, not a big deal. But I don't want to take the chance on that one minuscule time that something might go awry and we now have children that are not physically capable of or even mentally and emotionally capable because they're not as far developed to be able to make the proper decisions in an emergency type of situation. Whereas there are three adults in this household. We work for ourselves and my father-in-law is retired. There is no reason why we should not be able to just always have an adult present and available for the just-in-case scenario. And that's a decision that myself, my husband, and my father-in-law have all discussed and come to together that we all stand firmly in. So it's not a problem for us. 